Here we are guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me Bassman. Nice to see you all again. And some lovely new subscribers. Welcome along. Welcome to the page. Yes, I am here on my own solo session. A bit windier up here. Let's get out of the wind a minute. Ah, yes. I'm up uh, Sulcum Estuary on my own with some lucky lug, some lucky crab, and I might just go and find a few razors if there's any about. I have some salt with me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It is autumn. It is October. It's got really cold, yeah? All of a sudden I've got two hoodies, long johns, a lot. So welcome along, jump on board. We are on a little estuary session up until, I don't know, I'll give it four or five hours. And then I've got to go and pick Cheeky Girl up from the uh, hospital tonight where she's a NHS angel. So yeah, welcome along. I'm almost there. It's a long walk. Now you've all heard the saying, well I, I probably, most of you will have heard the saying, when the wind's in the east, the fish are at their least. Well guess what wind it is today guys and girls. Yep, it's a dreaded east wind. Now I don't usually entertain that much fishing on an east wind because uh, I've never done that well really on an easterly. Apart from I, I caught my first ever six pound bass, I don't know, 30 years ago on an east wind in a tiny little boat next to Drake's Island at Plymouth, Plymouth Sound. And yeah, that was an east wind and I tucked in behind the island because it was really rough. Bang, six pound bass. So let's see if it's true what they say, east wind. And I've got, uh, I've got a nice couple of rigs to use today. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this guys. Nearly there, another 10 minutes of ankle breakers. Yes, yeah, not very nice, not very nice. Whoa, but hopefully worth it in the long run. Let's go fishing. idea I put a marker stick in on the other side if I'm wading across to a sandbar I'm searching for bait I've got a stick there so I know if that tide as soon as the tide turns I need to move because it's quite deep and you need waders top tip these are razor holes
How much fun can you have with some salt? This is frigging cool, guys. Oh, this is brilliant. successful mission on the razors. I've got a nice load there. And here's my marker, look, my safe marker. And it's actually dropped. So I know that I'm safe to get back, look. It's worth, it's worth doing that, guys. There's my haul of razors. I'm going to freeze some because it's bass in season soon. Well, now. So, yes, yeah, so I'll be using those on the bass as well. But not whole, I'll peel them. A beautiful bait. So, here's my, uh, here's my bass rigs, bass and gilt rigs, really. You know, I've got pop ups in there, all different sort of sizes. You know, my uh, lucky Christmas rig. There. I've got all sorts of hooks and stuff in there, and that's a 1.0 on there, and that's my new new bling rig, bling rigs, which are doing really well. They're catching loads of fish, so I'm going to try a bling rig today, running ledger, and see how that gets on. This, the weed should be going by now against a bling rig on a running pat, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, so I am getting ready, and the tide is just creeping in. My running pat, so I'm going to go running pat with a stinger and a and a little flashy blade. I'm going to go one running ledger. There's my bait today, really nice. Peel of crab, worm. Very nice, lucky lug. Yes, yes, the bait. Go, a nice little half a crab on there with the claw presented on the hook. Nice small bait for a, a nice gilt head or a bass. And there's the bling. And it's not, it doesn't act like a spinner blade as such, it doesn't spin around. It, it just creates that flash. And I've done really well on that. Really well. And I've, I sell these in various colours, you just get random colours. They all seem to work. Bite, but, uh, I'll expect one soon. Now, two hours in, not a bite. Oh, I'm just um, food. Nice ham and cheese spread.
tackle talk so here we are guys i'm sort of like probably halfway through the session i've just had some little rattly baby gilt head bites i think and we'll just see if that develops yeah so the tide's coming up and i've had to get out of the wind where i was it was just horrible i was getting freezing cold um yeah so i've come up out the wind now so there's no wind lovely conditions here so yes bassman's bounty rigs in case you didn't know, I've got my own rig brand, guys and girls. I've, I've had it for a couple of years now. Uh, online mail order, fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. And there's about, I don't know, 20, 20 odd rigs on there that I've made myself, do it all at home, you know, with some really good stuff. I use like fluorocarbon, uh, you know, really nice beads, uh, you know, it's all good stuff, yeah? And even if I have to use an Aberdeen, you know, I make sure it's sharp. Uh, yeah, so... If you haven't got on these, these are really good, the stinger rigs. So that's basically just a length of line with a, a circle there. And, and I was doing these knotless knot, by the way, and I've changed it on the website because it didn't, it didn't, it, I found it a bit limited. You, were, you didn't have the flexibility. When it was tied, um, obviously you had to wind it down to get closer to the bait. But I found that it was a bit of a nuisance and I found that if I had a panel, just a normal one, slide in i could wrap it around where i want and, and do it like that and i've been doing better since i've used it running so yeah i've changed back from the knotless knot i do use that on some rigs uh but no i've been re doing really well on them and there's the new bling rig for the bass which i'm using today you know which is a another aberdeen job some really nice fluoro beads and a sexy holographic blade which you know it's been doing really well on that lately Yes, and lastly, but by no means leastly, here's my new 2023 flounder rig. So this isn't a pop-up rig, it's just a flounder rig, which I've redesigned and take it out for you to have a look at. So it's quite a long running ledger, see? And it's got the real nice fluoro beads on, I really like these beads. Uh, eight mil beads and six mil black and you can see look i've interlocked some of these blades and they do spin but they're not really designed to you know i'm not really use, wanting them to spin i just want them to be on the bottom and when you move it you're going to get a nice bit of flash aren't you so that's my brand new flounder rig and there's a stop stopper there look so you can obviously put it up or down put a big bait on if you want so that's a new rig. So get on those guys. They are selling like hotcakes. So yes, all the rigs work in the estuary. And I think I am having a bite. Ah. Yeah, so get on the rigs, guys. Fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. And I've just put all the rigs now down to three packs instead of five packs. And I'm finding that people are buying a lot more uh, variety now, you know, because you don't have to you don't have to buy five of each rig. You can have three of each rig. There's some combos on there as well, guys. Just turn around there while I was doing the uh, the rig talk. And that right hand rod was banging away. Let's see if there's anything on it. Let's come back stripped while I was doing the demo there. I was just getting murdered there. Small gilt heads out there. 
not much weed lot on the running ledger. Um, that's good. Well, I just had a really hectic 10 minutes there, loads of bites. I mean, the rod was slamming over at one point and it didn't look up, I was gutted. But yeah, any minute, the fish are here. It is going to happen, guaranteed. There you go. Hundred percent guilt head bite. Bang, 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 bang. Just messing around with my crab. Here we are, a quick razor fish demo. Nice small gilt biscuit, still alive. And you want to go in here just very lightly in and out here, otherwise they die. So, you want to take your hook, see him squirm there when you go in. So you like that. And then get your elastic, which I haven't got ready. Get your elastic, which I have got ready. And it's just a matter of wrapping him up. Concentrating around the hook, of course, all the way along. And there you go, simple. And then the back, I'll just push that down. So it's got a nice bit of bling around it. A nice gilt biscuit. Let's see if that works. I don't know, I just keep getting bites close, but no cigar. So I've just given them a wine there. Quick wine, couple of pumps. Get the bait moving along the bottom. Here we go. There's a bite on the right hand rod. I just need one fish to make this session. Come on. There we are guys, that's about it for me today. The most important thing about today was obviously fishing, but the second most important thing today was guys, I, I went and I got some really nice razor fish for the freezer. I've only used a couple today, and that's gonna be my really good bass bait for the winter coming up in the next few months. So I'll peel that, I'll take the shell off and um, I'll just use it on, on crab or something, you know, just to bulk it up, because razor's a really good bait. So yes, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and everything that went on. It's freezing cold east wind, so, whoa. I just had, I just had a massive bite on my right hand rod. Oh my God. Went right over, man. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it gonna? Come on. Just one fish for the viewers.
yeah so as i was saying before i had that wicked bite um yeah that's it for me today guys i've fished my guts out i've still got about another half an hour or so left before i run out of time run out of space to fish i'll have to get out of here thanks very much for watching nice to have you on board and uh please hit the like leave a comment or share it on whatsapp with your mate on the groups anything anything helps and check out my rig brand guys there's loads of lovely rigs up there that do really really well loads of pop-up rigs um all sorts there's new pulley rig just gone up heavy duty pulley rig that uh, wingman had a nice uh, 11 3 huss on the other day beautiful fish and that that um you'll have seen that video by the time you see this so yes share the love guys get on the comments and uh yeah i'll be back definitely but uh next time i come back i'll be coming back at night a hundred percent at night but hey that's all i had today i could only do the day and that's it so yes tight lines and uh if i get anything else don't worry you'll be the first to know i've got a bite Here we go, last chance saloon. I've had so many chances. Rod slamming it, oh, it's been unbelievable. I'm still not giving up. Running out of tide. Spot the difference. Hello, buddy.